Indians are most worried about terrorism, unemployment and financial and political corruption, even as at least 73% of the countrymen are optimistic that the nation is headed in the right direction, according to a survey. The Ipsos What Worries the World Global Survey observed that worries notwithstanding, India bucks the global trend of pessimism, where 22 countries out of the 28 nations covered feel their country is on the wrong track. IT giant Infosys recently blamed the denial of H-1B visas by United States for part of its growing employee attrition and said that it would introduce a new value proposition to help retain employees. Indian IT companies are faced with myriad administrative impediments in applying for new visas as well as extending the existing ones after the US tightened its visa rules to favour applicants with master's degrees, the Economic Times reported. Businesses with an annual turnover of over Rs 2 crore can now start filing GST audit reports for fiscal 2017-18 as GST Network has made its format available on its portal. The audit report for 2017-18, the first year of the Goods and Services Tax implementation, is to be filed by June 30th. President Donald Trump on Monday asked Boeing to fix its beleaguered 737 MAX plane, introduce new features and rebrand the aircraft after two deadly crashes involving the model led to the grounding of the jets across the world, including by Indian carriers. Trump's latest comments on the Boeing aircraft came hours after American Airlines, the world's largest, extended flight cancellations into mid-August because of the Boeing 737 MAX grounding. In the past three fiscals, the revenue deficit of the Department of Posts trading as India Post has ballooned nearly 150% from Rs 6,007 crore in financial year 2016. It is now reportedly the biggest loss-making PSU, leaving headline-grabbing losses of the likes of Bharat Sanchar Nigam Limited and Air India far behind. According to the Financial Express, India Post's annual deficit touched a staggering Rs 15,000 crore in financial year 2019. Flying out from the Bengaluru airport will become costlier by a massive 120% from Tuesday, following the airport tariff regulator ERAF, allowing it to revise upwards the user development fee for four months. The nation's third busiest airport after New Delhi and Mumbai plans to use the additional fee to fund its expansion. Pakistan has reached an agreement in principle with the International Monetary Fund over a bailout program and expects to formally secure a rescue package later this month, a Pakistani minister said on Monday. The long-delayed rescue package would be Pakistan's 13th IMF bailout program since the late 1980s.